السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته uh, Welcome everybody to a new lesson uh, Always with the 4 MS people Cause and effect How can we differentiate between the cause and the effect? How can we identify the cause and the effect in a text or in the sentence? Simple To identify the cause from the effect You should understand what's happening and why is it happening to identify the cause, just ask the question why, and to identify the effect, just ask the question what. Look at this picture. I know that you can recognize this picture since you have already dealt with in earlier lessons. It's El Hamra Palace in Granada in Spain. If you take a look at its uh, walls, you see that the color of its walls is reddish not red but reddish this is Hamra palace when you hear the word Hamra, does it remind you of any arabic word of course it reminds us of the uh, color red but why can you guess why was it called Hamra palace very easy It was called the Hamra Palace because the color of its walls is reddish. So here we asked the question why to get what? To get the reason, to get the cause. We ask the question why to get the cause. Why was it called the Hamra Palace? Because the color of its walls is reddish. This is the effect. <coughs> the color of its walls is reddish. And so what happened? What happened? It was called the Hamra Palace. This is what happened. This is the effect. This is the result. Okay? It was called the Hamra Palace. Why? Because the color of its walls is reddish. This is the cause. So after because, you will get the cause. Just ask the question, why? Same sentence. It was called the Hamra Palace since the color of its walls is reddish. So I have changed only the... Uh, linking word without change in the meaning it was called the Hamra Palace as the color of its walls is reddish the same structure I changed only the linking words so these are the linking words I can use to uh, express the cause to ask why it was called the Hamra Palace why as the color of its walls is reddish let's move to the what question the color of its walls is reddish, so it was called the Hamra Palace. It was called the Hamra Palace, so what happened? The color of its walls is reddish, so what happened? It was called the Hamra Palace. This is what happened. So ask the question, what? To get the effect. The color of its walls is reddish. As a result, it was called the Hamra Palace. The color of its walls is reddish. Therefore, it was called the Hamra Palace. The same sentence, same structure. I have uh, changed only the uh, linking words. Okay? I can use so, as a result, or therefore, to express the effect. Punctuations now. <coughs> Look at this sentence, the same example. It was called the Hamra Palace because the color of its walls is reddish. These are two sentences, we call them clauses. This is a clause and this is another clause. Okay? This clause represents the effect and this clause represents the uh, reason, the cause. So, do you see any comma here? There is no comma. Why? Because. I have the word because to separate these two clauses. I separate them with the word because. Whereas, if I start with the, the cause, if I start with because the color of its walls is reddish, it was called Hamra Palace. I have to put comma here. Why? Because there is nothing to separate these two clauses. It's illogical to say because of the, because the color of its walls is reddish, it was called the Hamra Palace without separating the two clauses. Another example. 
since the color of its walls is reddish it was called Hamara Pals now I have to put Kama okay if I start with it was called Hamra Palace since the color of its walls is reddish no need to put Kama the same here <coughs> another example as the color of its walls is reddish I have to put Kama it was called Hamra Palace now as far as uh, expressing effect we have some rules of punctuations when you use so when we move from the cause to the effect, I use so, as a result, or therefore. As far as so and therefore, just put comma before them. So, you put comma, so, it was called the Hamra Palace. Comma, therefore, it was called the Hamra Palace. But when uh, dealing with as a result, you have two options. And Whether to put a Kalan, Kalan, before as a result and comma after as a result or full stop of course after full stop you have to start with capital A as a result and uh, comma because or because of when I, when I express the cause I can use because or because of but there is a slight difference between the two I cannot use them interchangeably <laughs> Consider these examples. Alhamra Palace was called so because of its reddish walls. What did we say before? We said before Alhamra Palace was called so because its color, its uh, the color of its walls is reddish. And now we said because of its reddish walls. Do you see any verb here? There is no verb here because this is a phrase in a phrase we find no verb so after because of you find no verb but after because you find a verb I can start as well because of its reddish walls Alhamra Palace was called so many landmarks were destroyed because of earthquakes so there is no verb here because of earthquakes many landmarks were destroyed Burj Khalifa is called a skyscraper because of its height. Because of its height, Burj Khalifa is called a skyscraper. I hope that this point is clear because it was not mentioned in your book. Let's have some activities. Activity 1. Put in because or because of. The hanging gardens of Babel, it was one of the seven wonders of the world were called so so because or because of they were built high above the ground on split level stone terraces now we have the verb it's where the pyramids started corroding because or because of natural factors the Eiffel Tower was called so its designer's name is Gustavo Eiffel. The pyramids of Giza is the only wonder of the seven wonders of the world that is still stand while all the other six wonders were destroyed. Earthquakes. This is activity number one. Activity number two. Put in as a result, therefore, since, as, or so. We were running out of time. We had to spend the night in a hotel. My father was late for his flight. He had to wait for the next one. We had extra money. We booked in a nice hotel. The Titanic crashed on an iceberg. It sank in the ocean. The Titanic sank in the ocean. Why? It crashed on an iceberg. I heard about the beauty of Morocco. Uh -huh. And what happened? I decided to visit it. The road was so busy. What happened then? We had to walk to the museum. We had to walk to the museum. Why? 
Why did you have to walk to the museum? The road was so busy. <coughs> Let's move to task 18, page 39 from your book. You have uh, two pairs of, uh, se of uh, sentences. Match them and write them in full. We didn't visit the Louvre Museum. Since the weather was awful, the British Museum was far from my hotel. The weather conditions were terrible. As I still had enough time, I decided to stay at home and read a book. As a result, my flight to Algiers was cancelled. I decided to go sightseeing around the city. So I took a London cab because we spent only one day in Paris. So we didn't visit the Louvre Museum. Lam Nazur Mathaf the Louvre. Why? Okay, why? Look for the reason here. Since the weather was uh, awful, uh huh. What happened since the weather was awful? The British Museum was far from my hotel. So what happened? The weather conditions were terrible. Uh huh. What happened? As I still had enough time. What happened? Okay. Let's see the full sentences here. We didn't visit the Louvre Museum. Why? Because we spent only one day in Paris. So this is the cause. And this is what happened. We spent only one day in Paris. <coughs> and what happened? We didn't visit the Louvre Museum. Since the weather was awful, I decided to stay at home and read a book. Why did you decide to stay at home and read a book? Since the weather was awful. Well, because the weather was awful. The British Museum was far from my hotel. So, I took a London cab. The London cab is the old-fashioned car. It's a black car. It, it's used as a taxi in uh, Britain. The weather conditions were terrible. As a result, my flight to Algiers was cancelled. As I still had enough time, I decided to go sightseeing around the city. I decided to go sightseeing around the city. Let's move to task 19. As Nabila visited my Canis, she went swimming and sightseeing. My flight to London was delayed and therefore I booked a room and spent the night in a hotel. The food there was awful and what happened as a result we ate in another restaurant. Since the weather was lovely, uh -huh, what happened? I went outside to take a walk. I went outside to take a walk. Why? Because the weather was lovely or since the weather was lovely. My parents gave me enough money for my trip, so I bought them some presents. Some presents. Why did you bought them some presents? Because they gave me enough money. I didn't buy presents for anyone, uh, for everyone, sorry, because, so why? Because I didn't have enough uh, money. That's all for this lesson. I, ha I hope that it was clear for you. Uh, I will see you, inshallah, in uh, other lessons. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.